Okay, here we had a Copeland scroll compressor. It had excessive vibration. This was disassembled using a plasma cutter and an angle grinder. Here's the head of the compressor. Remember this was a scroll type compressor. There's the windings of the motor. This is very heavy. We have not determined the exact fault yet. It's suspected to be electrical. The rotor of the motor. There's a counterbalancer inside here. If we can see it there, yeah. See the counterbalancers right here. Here's where you can see how it gets its name. Scroll type compressor. Here's the mating side. The way this system works, it just vibrates back and forth. That causes it to compress. Spacer keeps everything in line. There's the top mast. This is bolted down to the motor. Now we have the bottom of the actual compressor. See the hole is where it allows the oil to come up. I'll show you that inside of the shaft is actually where the oil pump is. see this. Come on, focus. There we go. There's veins in there that twist, so as this rotates, it grabs the oil and pushes it up top, and it ejects through that hole right there, and through the hole on top. You can see there's some slight wear, but none of this would account for the excessive vibration that this compressor was experiencing. Put this together. Let's see, it mounts in there and it turns. The oil will squirt out of the top here. Spacer. There. See there, it really rotates. Next video will get an overview of all the parts exploded.